Hi y'all. Howdy. What's poppin' Jimbo's? So, um, what, what are legs? Like, legs, right? Legs. What are they? Um, is that some sort of sauce? You know, what are legs? Like, who is she? Who is she? Because I don't know her. I don't, I don't know her. Oh, I don't know her. You know, like, I'm, I'm confused. I'm, there's some sort of miscommunication because, like, I don't know what legs are. Like, I don't, I don't know them. I just don't know them. Um, you know? Also, like, can we talk about Brushstroke? Like, why? Like, why is she here? Like, why is she here? Like, since when did Brushstroke become a part of the equation? Like, I don't understand that. Like, I don't. Like, okay, maybe for some people I understand it, but, like, for me, like, I don't under- I don't understand that. Like, no. It doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. Like, brushstroke just doesn't work for me. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Like, you know? Um, remember when I said a while ago, back when we were doing, like, stroke groups, and I was doing fly, and I said that my defense mechanism is to laugh instead of cry when, like, my body is just in, like, so much pain. That last hundred of that kick set, just, like, and you know what? Like, I made that kick set. Like, I made it, and I was, like, proud of that. But, like, the combination and the build of, like, breaststroke upon breaststroke upon kicking was just, like... I just, I, I started laughing on that last hundred because it was just, it was too much. It was too much, you know? I'm gonna cut off my legs after I um, get off of my shift at work. I'm going home and I'm cutting them off because at this point in time, they are just a burden. Like, they're just a burden, uh, you know? Like, I have to do kick sets. I have to, like, do breaststroke kick. Like, they're just a burden. They're just they're just a burden at this point in time that I really don't want in my life. So like, I'm going to take them out of the equation. Also, quick funny story that happened today. TTI, a quick little TTI of what happened today. So, Riley and I, well, okay, Riley is my friend from school. We share a locker because it's pointless. Well, I used the locker in like the first week of school and then I like stopped using it because I didn't need it anymore. So it was pointless for me to get a locker and then she uses it every day so like we just share it. And so our locker doesn't like lock. It doesn't like, it doesn't close all the way. So like if you push it in and you like click the lock on it and you pull the lock, the door like opens so like it doesn't it's kind of it's like the hinges are broken it doesn't close all the way unless somebody like kicks it in and this happened like once or twice before a custodian I guess like kicked it in because they noticed it or a student who knows um and then we have to like actually unlock it from the lock and then we pull it and then it opens and then it's back to just not closing again which is super convenient like it's so convenient just being able to like open the locker you know not having to worry about the lock like super convenient we like that like there's nothing valuable in there like we hate having to actually lock the locker and unlock it so right riley texts me she's like somebody freaking um kicked the locker back in again and i can't open it like i can't open the lock and she can do that in the morning and then she's like i'm just gonna try again before lunch and she goes back before lunch and she still can't open it and she's like christina can you come up here and like help me so i leave the lunchroom and i go to help her and i can't get the lock either like i had the lock in my phone i know i'm putting it right and it's like not opening so you know maybe like a normal person or like someone with like a lot more brain cells than i would be like okay logical next step you know like locker not opening what else can you do you know you can ask 
the person who like gives the lockers out, you know, ask them for help. You could like literally do anything than what I did. But the next thing I, the next logical step for me was, oh, locker not working. Hmm. I got it. So I sat on the floor and I monkey kicked this locker. Like the locker is here and I just went bam. <laughs> like, and it opened. Like it like it opened. So like it worked. Like, you know, like my idea worked. But yeah, so like I was like, wow, this isn't working. What should I do next? I'll just kick the locker like really hard. And like it worked. So like, you know. Like, who needs a man when you, like, can just kick your locker open? That's really all I have to say. So, if your lockers ever don't open, just kick them. Or, I mean, maybe it's only subject to the fact that ours, our hinge was broken already, but if you're ever in the same situation, you know, just think like a monkey. You know, think like, think like me. Think like my last brain cell that chose to just kick it instead of, like, any logical step but it worked so you know you know I guess it's just like you know go big green like Dartmouth Ivy League just Ivy League things you know but yeah that's all I have and now I have to go to work so deuces